we, we talked a lot about business partnerships, having the same vision, having a common goal, and working together and sharing resources. When you think of Big Brothers Big Sisters, school district, it's a perfect marriage. We initially started a conversation with Big Brother Big Sister because we were trying to figure out like, what can we do to give students a boost? Students who come from poverty, our English learners, and especially our foster youth, what can we do that provides them with mentorship? My wife and I are, are proud to be big couples. So our little is, his name is Tyon and he's actually just entering fourth grade. Our f favorite experience with our little was probably the hike uh, of Mount Rubido. He had never been on a hike you know, before in his life. His whole mindset and how he viewed it as an adventure and, and how exhilarating it was for him to go through there. And, and also for to hear him kind of reflecting about his life and while he's going through the hike, I, I think it was very empowering for him. We constantly see some of the struggles that kids um, go through outside of our schools, and we always think, how can we help those kids? Well, through Big Brothers and Big Sisters, this is a perfect opportunity for you to provide that mentorship and that support for those students and guide them. It may only take a, an hour or two out of your, out of your week just to talk to them and to let them know, hey, there's somebody here for you to talk to and ask for advice. It's what I love of our name, it's a big brother, big sister, that it's family. That our, our, our mentoring friendships become family friendships. We have mentors that, as they got married, their little, their mentee was in their wedding, was their ring bearer or flower girl. They become a part of family dinner, they become a part of family life, and I think that's the beauty is that for our mentors, your life has changed just as much as the child's. Sometimes I think as people were caught up in the everyday go, 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 and just to be able to stop and to connect with someone and to reach someone else's goals. I think as adults, we're always trying to go to the next level, but sometimes we forget there's a precious child that needs our support and they need our help. Well, her name is Leslie, she's 10 years old and she um, does attend one of our schools. I tell her all the time, if you can see it in your mind, you can picture it, then you can have it. We just have to work on a plan to get you there, but you can do it, you know, you can do this. You can be whatever you wanna be. My message to our Riverside School District employees is that we're extremely grateful as a board for all of the service that they provide in their jobs to help raise our community and our education system. And here is an opportunity where we all understand that there's so much development that kids go through outside of the classroom. And all of us can step up and, and have a, a meaningful impact. It doesn't matter what seat you sit in the organization, whether you're a superintendent, you're working in the cafeteria, you're in the classroom, you're in the front office, you're in the business office. If they have the passion, if they have the time, if they really want to make a connection with an individual, there are kids out there who need us as adults to come into their lives, to stand side by side with walking down this path we call life together and learning their goals, their hopes, their dreams, their fears, connecting with them and, and being that mentor in their life. Nothing better, Big Brothers Big Sisters again provides that avenue for us and so get involved, get involved.